Last week, as uh, you're well aware, I travelled to Canberra to hold discussions with the Prime Minister. I thank him for his time and support to the Northern Territory, and I also acknowledge the other federal ministers that I met with and the Northern Territory Labor government representatives uh, that were uh, providing support. So today, the Northern Territory Government and the Commonwealth Government are jointly announcing a support package for Alice Springs and Central Australia that acknowledges decades of ill-fitting policy. For far too long, decisions about Alice Springs and in fact the Northern Territory have been made in Canberra with little to no consultation with the people that these decisions impact upon. And today this changes. The Northern Territory and the Australian governments will continue to work with the Central Australian and the broader Northern Territory community on longer term solutions to the issues that we are facing. The Northern Territory Government will bring forward legislation to strengthen alcohol restrictions. I want to be clear, this is not Stronger Futures. This is NT legislation that allows a clear process. The new legislation will follow local decision making processes where community alcohol plans will be developed. Communities that want to make changes will go to a vote with 60% of the population needing to agree and the Director of Licensing signing off on these plans. It's important to note a large number of communities remain unaffected by these plans as they reverted back to being dry communities under territory legislation but this will now define the process for future changes, also acknowledging that we saw a change in our legislation that ceased last week. I will bring the legislation immediately to the Northern Territory Parliament when it meets for the first time this year, next week. As I just said, the opt-out system expired last week and we've always said that if our policies don't deliver the benefits to our community that we seek, we will be agile with these policies. Whilst we acknowledge that alcohol causes harm in our community, it is a legal product and we need to manage the complexities of that product in our community. However, as experts and community leaders have pointed out, alcohol restrictions alone will not address these underlying complex issues in the Northern Territory. They're complex and they've been developed over decades. And that's why last week we asked the Prime Minister for an investment into Alice Springs and Central Australia, a meaningful investment that will drive change. The federal government had already announced $48 million, but the federal government, the Prime Minister, has committed to $250 million in Central Australia in additional funding. This funding will focus on improved community safety and cohesion through more youth engagement and diversion programs. Job creation particularly in the communities that surround Alice Springs, including urgent changes to replacing the failed Community Development Program, or CDP. Better services, by improving health services and other services in surrounding communities, there will be less pressure on Alice Springs. Preventing and addressing the issues caused by fetal alcohol spectrum disorders, including better responding through the health and justice systems. Investing in families, including by better supporting elders and parents and boosting our domestic and family violence services. And on-country learning, improving school attendance and completion through caring for country programs. So we will now work with all levels of government, the Central Australian Regional Controller, non-government organisations and most importantly the community to best deliver this investment and the change that our community needs. For now, the current sales restrictions in Alice Springs will stay in place. They have proved to provide an immediate respite. We need that to continue. We are seeing benefits from those short-term restrictions. These measures have been coupled with increasing compliance tools such as BDR blitz on premise and also uh, police blitzing with the band drinker register. I'll be making sure that the work of the Central Australian Regional Controller is to develop an alcohol management plan for Central Australia so that we can have community views whilst keeping the community safe. So I acknowledge this significant investment into those services that we know drive change. They improve lives. They deliver those programs. And that is the investment we need to continue to focus on. Alcohol-related harm is still the Northern Territory's biggest social challenge. No government has done more to address this issue and we will continue to do so. BDR, floor price, pallies, and a comprehensive investment into treatment and rehabilitation, but I acknowledge there needs to be more work. But alcohol is not the only issue facing Alice Springs, and that's why we're working with the federal government 
through a $250 million boost to Central Australia and to the services, accommodation, and put the needs of our fellow Territorians first. Local decision making is at the heart of this. We've heard loudly and clearly that the matter and decision of alcohol on community needs to be one that is made by the entire community. That is why we're creating a circuit breaker and implementing temporary dry zones until communities can develop and vote on the alcohol management plans, the community alcohol plans they want to see. So Central Australia is the heart of Australia. It is important and it is important for all of us as Territorians to tackle these issues once and for all. I'm happy to take any questions.